Ricky, you do the opening, and I want you to cuss Adam out the entire time as you reopen the show that we had spent an hour doing. Adam, why are you so silly? Oh, God. I'm not, I'm not feeling the hate. Maybe we need to... <laughs> I'm not hate. a hateful person. Uh, well. Dennis, could you, could you lead off with the hate? I'm a professional, so let's not have any hate. Um, we're starting over because our producer, B-17, somehow recorded over what we did before. But you know what? Honestly, this wouldn't have happened if Ricky hadn't fucking walked away during a podcast. So if anything, um, this is true. It is Ricky's fault. I'm sorry. I had to open the front door. I apologize. For, for who? Like, who was more important than us? Who answers the front door? No shit. I so- mean... There are a lot of more important people than you, Dennis. You can order anything from Amazon. Hey, whoa, 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 hold on. What about, like, just Dennis, right? I'm important. Is there anybody else who needs to get some hate off their chest? Yeah, I fucking hate you. And I'm on your team. This sucks. Please kill me. I'm gonna go get in a car and let Jackson drive. Okay, okay so let's just let's just start. Ricky? No, no, introduce. Have to introduce. Oh. Our guest today is Ricky. Let him do it. Dragon. He fucked it up. Let him do it. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it, Adam. You do it. Ladies and gentlemen, I am B17, brought, bringing you this podcast with Dennis Black, Austin Lee, and our guest today is... Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> you forgot his name. Adam, you fucking you forget his name. <laughs> Ricky! <laughs> All right, hold on, hold on. Let me get stay Thanks for forgetting my name. That has let to me, stay in, please. Do you, let me get a drink and I'll fix it. <laughs> no, that's staying. Ah! <laughs> no, that's staying. That's staying. Oh my god! Right, I'm just, not, I'm just not forgettable as a rookie. Ricky, what brought you to OCW? Don't forget, don't forget we got a live studio audience and Sophia. Yeah. Uh, I just, I had. I just re-downloaded uh, WWE 2K17, and I was looking for people to play with. So I did a Google search of feds for the PlayStation 4, and it brought me to an FAQ uh, site, and it had an, uh, an ad for OCW, and I decided to click on it and see what you guys were about. Well, here's a million-dollar question. What did y'all search? Like, how did y'all find out this is actually a thing? Uh, I just went for PlayStation 4, a fed Flash League in Google, and OCW was one of the first, uh, the first post or, or the first, uh, whatever you want to call it, website. Mm. What about Dennis and Adam? Well, how did y'all find this? Like, what did y'all search? Because I found it through the old, like, clan division back in... The clan. Uh, Phoenix, I saw, yeah. Not that kind of clan, not like how oh. Adam's a part of. I will Jay, answer Because you know how he feels about them. I will answer your question on one fucking condition. Breathe through your no. fucking mouth. <laughs> I'm, I can't. Okay. Then I can't drink if I'm breathing through my mouth. Just just trust me. That That's when true. You pass out, it's okay. Um, I well, stopped watching wrestling many, many years ago. When did CM Punk officially leave? Leave. Lease. Uh, 14, 15? Was it that long? I thought it was like 12. No, yeah, I thought it was 11 or 12. He was on the cover of 13. Of, yeah, though. that was the summer of punk. 2011 was, was the, the rise. Summer of punk, punk is what I was thinking, yes. No, no, I'm he sorry. Didn't when leave. did uh, he leave? He leaves when like was the Rock vs. Cena? 2014? He, he left that, He so he left in 15. Okay. I stopped watching wrestling after CM Punk left. And I got the next game of um, WWE, and I was just kind of bored with it. <clears throat> because what I would usually do is I would create stuff, and then I would, I would run my own universe all by myself. No friends to, to play the game with. So what happened is, well, honestly, I have no fucking clue. I don't have any clue at all. I have no idea how I ended up in OCW. I don't even watch wrestling anymore. <laughs> That's another topic for debate because that's fucking terrible. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Dennis, I think we need to move to you because I have no good answer. I googled. 
good for you. Wrestling, <laughs> wrestling, fed slash league slash fair. Slash what? Fair. Fair. F A I R. Ah. Fairness. I'm all about being fair. Mm-hmm. And OCW was the first place that came up. Now, this isn't the fairest place, but still, when you type in fair and fed, you know, this fed comes up. But it's not a fair place. This is an awful, corrupt, disgusting place. But it is the best. So I put up with it. Now, are you saying that because you're the champion or what? Oh, Lee, you went quiet. Uh, you know what? Bring your nose back, otherwise we can't hear you. Yeah, bring your nose back. Just mm-hmm. close your mouth. <laughs> I'm trying to breathe. So, Ricky, do you... I hate all of you. Ricky, do you like it here? I do. I love it here. As I've, I've said in the, I said in the old SmackDown, uh, not SmackDown, right up. Uh, Terminal chat that I, I, I love this place and that it, it gave me a reason to keep playing the game. Oh, Why do you like this place? Here? Right, exactly. Uh, just just the, the FPR, the people are fair, and I just enjoy it. It's just so enjoyable. So, Even though you have rookies that don't want to listen when you try to help them with their FPR. Yeah, exactly. Even, even though the rookies hate me because I decide to try and better them. Okay, okay, so you know, you... let's go right into that. Dennis, I think you're on the same page. Please turn that page for me. So, Ricky, would you say that um, you're the more disciplined out of all the rookies? Like, you love FPR, but you're saying that other rookies get upset with you and try to correct their FPR. Like, would yeah, you say but... that you love a lot of the rookies? Uh, I, I, I think they're all good rookies, but, you know, some of them... Some of them decided to have a go at me because I tried to make sure that they were what were getting the rules, the FPR rules down pat, so they could have the best matches they can. You got any names? We said no names. No, I'm, but I no, I'm not should. naming. Not no, okay. not. What about the first letter? I, I, the, one of the people start with M and I and and I with X. <laughs> <laughs> Max. He just spelled the name. Okay. Max. Mix. 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 Then I was told I was had that bad attitude by one of the other rookies. First and yeah. last. First and last letter. <laughs> See. <laughs> do, you, do you think you have a bad attitude, Ricky? <laughs> no, I don't. I. I haven't been I haven't been told that by anyone else in the in the Fed, so I assume I don't. Better question: yeah. Do you have a bad attitude, Ricky? No, I would I I try to try to do the best I can. And... So you didn't try to find <clears throat> me when I first came in, and you didn't know who I was. Uh, no, I I thought you might have broken the fear, so I asked you about it. Were you polite <laughs> about this? <laughs> <laughs> did, 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 did B17 break FPR to FP, at a DM with you, Ricky? Um, I tr- I tried to be nice about it. Let's you might you might say otherwise, but you can't really tell through. <laughs> so what did you what did you say? I actually can't remember what I said. Oh well, I can remember just fine. Awesome. <laughs> Let me just. Let me just uh, pull it up on my pin messages here. When you say you remember, you mean you don't know the look at our chat. Hey. <laughs> hey, uh, you do know that you need to Whoa, give on. more space after reversing. <laughs> you broke FDR so, uh, ho- badly there. Adam, you want to talk shit about somebody remember to do something. How about remember to change file names? <laughs> I, I move that we move on from this conversation, and uh, this is about Ricky after all. Anyways, no, Ricky, it wasn't a big deal. Actually, all you had said to me, um, you did not, you weren't rude about it. You said to me, hey, did you break FPR there? And I said, no, because you were asking about my, my comboing. 
and yeah. I had reversed you. You had gone to your knees, and then you stood back up after uh, after reversal, and I started and I, and I comboed you because I had majored you. So I was not breaking FPR in that moment, but but you asked the question. It wasn't a big deal. I I'm, I'm giving you shit. There was at no point that I think that you were trying to big time me. So yeah, moving on, moving on. Just I thought it was funny, but Lee's mad and Dennis is laughing and Pam is. Not being nice to me. It's almost like you did something. I know. I think I did something. What did I do? What didn't you do? This is about Ricky. This is about <clears throat> Ricky. Ricky, anyways. What was the question? I don't know. What was the question? <laughs> Adam, what do you mean? <laughs> well, we're the one asking the question. What, you... what the fuck? Okay, Ricky. Um, back to the other rookies. How are you feeling about your match on Riot to start 2018 uh, with Colin I'm, Bailey? I'm, I'm feeling great about it. Absolutely loving the idea of facing Colin at Riot, Do where I, I where I apparently have no good matches. Are you intending to get in Colin's colon? <laughs> I'd hope not. If you could identify a rookie that really needs some help, who would it be? Colin and Mix would be my, would, I would suggest, would be the two that I suggest. I think all the other rookies have the FPR down pat for the most part. So whose skills would you put on par of Adam's trying to record things for the rookies? Um, <laughs> so Mix and Colin. Are you saying so? You're saying that Mix and Colin are the, the worst. The worst, yes. I would, I would say the worst. So you're, all but I, think, I'm the worst. You're the worst recorder, absolutely. Right. Yes. Got it. Worst producer yeah. in OCW history. Mm. Okay, okay. So, like, what don't you like about Mix? Like, I don't know, I don't know much about Colin. Uh, me and Mix oh, just, Austin, me yes. and Mix just got off on a bad. Um, on a ba- we had a bad start to yeah to everything so we, we we did a DM a tag team DM against Mix and I think you were the other one Adam yes and and Mix stood at the middle like on the apron he was at the middle of the rope the whole match I I I think I tagged out once well hold on don't worry we have something a special guest for you he's actually here tonight. <laughs> And then, and then he complained that I never tagged him in. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Wait. I do remember that. Um, yes, that person whose name shall not be. Hold released. on, you you remember something? Yes, I remember something. Like to change the files name. This is my call. I can't kick you. Everybody will leave. And by the way, I'm getting yelled at by my wife for not be mean to you. Well, goodbye, Cesar. <laughs> he shall join us at oh my a God. future date. If he doesn't kill me. Anyways, Ricky. Yes. Can you explain to me what your look is all about? Well, uh, well apart from everything but the faith, I can I can explain that, yes. Okay, please go ahead, because I understand that you are a Mexican-Australian. Apparently, Bray thinks I'm a Mexican Australian because he turned me into a Mexican. How? How did he do this? Oh uh, well, my 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 skin color was white before he had it. Now it's Mexican color, which I don't know. I think it's brown. I don't know. What is a Mexican color, Ricky? I don't know what a Mexican color is. But you just oh said Mexican. I I sound so color. racist. Yeah, you do. So you gotta explain that shit. What is a Mexican color, in your opinion? I don't know. Yellow. <coughs> Isn't I feel like yellow is Asian though. That's Asian. That's Asian. Oh, that's Asian. Yeah. I don't so know. You're comparing Mexicans to Asians, though. Yeah. Why not? What? Ricky. Yes. So, so you said Bray did your attire and your face? 
Yes, yes, he did. I, I, uh, I did. I originally did some, and it looked pretty good. I thought, but Bray said he'd give it a go and made it better. So there you go. You so you're you made it better. Well, apparently. So your face is that is that a design or is that just like makeup or dirt? Like what is going on with your face, Ricky? No idea. You'd have to ask is, Bray who did it. But it's your call. Like you didn't go in and look at what he did. No, I, I didn't look at the faith. I looked at the attire he made, which looked pretty good. What were you going you... for? Uh, when I first made him, um, an Australian wrestler. But you ended up as a Mexican. But I ended up as a Mexican, yes. An Australian Mexican, which everyone called me in chat, or used to anyway. What about the attire? Because it looks like a the ad- train wreck. Really? Yes. Well, Bray did that as well, so you may have to talk to him about that. We so you really just talk to him. <laughs> oh, I said that too. We haven't seen Bray in a while. He mostly comes on and complains about the game, but yeah, yeah, I I saw that. Yeah, I think Jade's upset with him about always complaining about the game. What would you say to him if you could right now? If he was sitting right in front of you. And he was uh, I'd... dead in the eye, and he said, this game sucks. I hate it. Can't stand it. What would you say to him? Uh, stop caring so much. It's fun when you get online and play with guys, so you maybe should get, just, you know, don't worry about it and have some fun. It is fun playing with guys. I met guys from OTW. Absolutely. 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 Have you seen the pictures that Dennis Black has been posting lately? Mm Mm-hmm. He has gone all in on the playing part. Yes. I am the king of the indie circuit right now. You are the gay king of the indie circuit right now. Right, but it's not really me being gay. It's me being... It's me forcing people to be gay. So, So like, I will put people's... Right, so I'll put people's faces into Trance's crotch. That doesn't make me gay. That's just me facilitating gayness. Now, who was the person that you most recently put into Trance's crotch? Rex. Rex. And the person that was the original? Oh, the the first ever on accident. Unintentional. Yes. You know, uh, one of our co-hosts. Completely. One of our co-hosts. Do you want to play this game? Mr. Marvelous. Now, Lee, I have a question for you now that the show is over. You know this is game. This is going to be bad Wait, for you. the show's over? What was it like being down there? Was it just like an aura of sadness? Like, what was what was it like being in Trance's crotch? It's like being on Adam's team. <laughs> breathe, breathe. So, breathe. disappointing? <laughs> This is disappointing. Yep. So Trance's Crush is disappointing. Very small disappointment. Small disappointment. Awesome. Dennis, have you come up with a name for this one? Um, not yet. I feel like I should though. I feel like marvelous. Marvelous what if we... Flojo. Marvelous Flojo. No. The True Crotch. No. Ricky, no. this is your podcast. What name would you give to this to this? Delicate introduction to new frontiers. Call it the Weinstein. <laughs> the wine. The Weinstein. Oh, the Lauer. God. The Lauer. The Jaystein. Jaystein. Hmm. Jaystein. This might get cut. <laughs> anyway. No, no, we're going to keep rolling along. Right, Ricky. Huh, you're like about we almost cut a whole hour. Right, my bad attire that I like. You like it, though. But you guys don't. I do. I think it looks good. That's just me. Let's take a vote. Dennis, do you like his attire? I like his attire when he's with... Corey. I think it's a good tag attire. Not Corey. Corey. I said Corey. Corey. Okay. Corey. Corey Ford. Uh, When you're alone, I think you need something else. I think it makes him stand out. This is true. It does stand out. It does. So I'm guessing. So we have two yeses. Yeah. Okay. Moving yes. on to the next question. Next question. Who's got the next question, please? Me. Me. Go. Ricky, I want you to rank your rookie class. 
again from top from we 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 had we missed it because no, you erased it. Not again. Right. Not okay. Again. This is the first. <laughs> not again. Right. Okay. So so at the top you have me. No, no, no. no. I said from bottom. You don't you don't fucking change my request. You start at the bottom, like I said. Start over, Ricky. Okay. Okay. Start at the bottom. bottom, we have uh, Colin and Mix. Then no, we have. Do you, wait, 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 wait. Stop, stop. Do you actually on. feel that way, or just because you have an issue with them? No, I don't have an issue it's, with them. They have an issue is it with out me. Out of spite. Are is this, is this a spiteful spite? ranking? No, no. This is how I I see them. Why? All right, why, please tell us why. <laughs> because okay, okay. Because the FPR isn't up the up the standard. Hmm. Would be the but. Uh, 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 and even if that, their skill isn't on Tay Terry's level, or or Jackman's, or mine, or or Colin, uh, or CJ's, or Shepard's. So you're saying? Wait, hold on. Colin... I thought you said Jackman was the bottom. Yeah, I know. I changed my mind. He's not the bottom anymore. So mix with Colin, bottom of the pile. Yep. And then we have Jackman, and Sugar Hype. Not that I have anything against them. I just think that that's where they are. Then we have Tay Terra, mm -hmm. and then we have uh, Gooch. Again, I don't have anything against those guys. They just so wait, you're Tay putting Tara. you're putting Gooch above all those people. <laughs> yes. Didn't Gooch just break FPR like on pay per view? Right. Did she? Don't count. It doesn't matter if they're new. Oh, okay. Ricky, I have, um, I have a question. Especially with all, the other Australian person testing him. In all this rankings, do you feel that you are the best rookie? I do. I, I, I think because I've been here in the next group, couple of months that I'm on, the, I'm on the run above most of the rookies. Hmm. So you believe you should take home rookie of the year? I do believe I should take home rookie of the year. Mm. Which it went over earlier. No, no, we didn't. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Dan Black, how would you respond to this information that, that Ricky believes he is Rookie of the Year? Because you were the last Rookie of the Year. Do you feel Ricky is a good follow-up to your Rookie of the Year? <clears throat> well, I believe, personally. You address me as Mr. B-17, please. Sorry, Mr. B-17. Yeah. I apologize. I feel like anyone that comes after anything that is black does is going to struggle to fill those shoes. Mm -hmm. Like the next the television shape. champion, I I feel bad for them. They have to they have to somehow pause, get, pause, pause. 30. You feel bad after you set me up. I did. Like I I was rooting for you because I think it would have been awesome if you had won. No, you were not rooting for me. You set I me was, up. I was I picked you in the in the choices thing. That's because you set me up. I mean, I was still supporting you. I'm an Austin Lee fan. Is that because I'm gonna join that team now? Take Invictus, Invictus over there. Yes. Okay, please. fine. You know what? If if Lee is coming over there, I want to trade then. I don't want Seb. I'll take. You can't have Seb. Seb, take, Seb is too reliable. I'll, I'll take the biker gang. And. Who's listening to their messages? What is that? So who, who's doing that? Who's doing the answering machine thing? Oh, that was mine. My bad. Fucking Ricky. <sighs> this is your podcast, and you are ruining it. Ricky, we need you to focus on us, buddy. Come well, on. Hold on. I am that, focusing that, on you. That's what ruined it. That That's what ruined it. Yes. So, okay, okay, just make sure we're on the same page. What were you saying? Where, where, where were we? I was saying that if I am going to have to lose Austin Lee for issues unknown, don't know his problem right now, but I'm sure he'll elaborate on it. I demand that I get Madison's biker gang. Oh, I yeah. just can't take your fucking. <laughs> Jesus. I just can't oh. stand your face. Oh, God. And, uh, I don't know. Do you have anything else valuable over there? Well, he was he was ranking them. He just interrupted them. Oh my God! Yeah, you're right. Well, sorry, Back to it, it. it's all about me. Back yeah, so, so finish. finish. Main finish. event level. Please, rookies. please finish. All right, so I said I just said Gooch 
So then Flojo. Flojo is Gooch. Oh, oh, okay. My bad. Um, wait, wait, wait. I so, want to see where this would have gone if you could have ranked and, them separately. And I'm, I'm not, ro- I'm not ranking the new no, no rookies because I haven't really played them much. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so that uh, the last three would be me, uh, O'Donnell, and Shepard would be the best rookie. You know. Would you Shepherd say you're pretty O'Donnell. much that B? Uh, no, what is it? H two O of rookies right now, Ricky, the head rookie. I, yes, I, I believe I would be the head rookie. Me or me or um me or Shepherd would be the head rookie. I believe. No, no, no. Let's let's try this again. Don't say anybody else. Take credit. All right. So you would say you're like the head rookie, right? Yes, I'm the head rookie. There we go. There you go. Absolutely. Did we forget any rookies? <clears throat> oh, we forgot Jed Draven. Oh, oh Draven. He's not a, it doesn't count. He doesn't. Uh, he's not a rookie. What are your thoughts on Jet Draven? Mm-hmm. I've never played Jet Draven, so I don't know. You watched his matches and read his content. Truly talented. Truly talented. And I don't really pay attention to any matches other than my beat, own. Uh, who did he beat out of this group in this, right now? I think he beat Adam. And Dennis. Ooh, not mained people. Mained. Oh, and and Ding. Ricky never beat Ding. Oh, Ricky? No, Jet. Who? Oh, Jet. Oh, Jet. Jet's never beat Dennis. Jet beat Dennis. Jet beat Ding. Jet beat B17. No, Jet never beat Dennis. Okay, Jet beat B17. Jet beat yes. Ding. Jet should be the top of the card. He's got a right, though. He's like male Ricky, Ricky yeah. don't write. Ricky don't write. But he has I, RP. I, what he has I do RP write? He writes with he writes with Corey. Can he write without Corey? Yes, I I, I read my first couple of matches See, or my first couple of turmoil. You can't say that after you have to help me. This is true. Rewind, Ricky. You're doing awesome. <clears throat> I have a question, Ricky. Who would you say has been the most influential to your success in? OC in turmoil. Other than me, uh, I would say Seb. Besides Seb, <laughs> no Dennis. Besides Dennis, Why? <laughs> just say his name. Just say him, please, so he'll stop. <laughs> okay, Dennis. No, no, not Dennis. Adam. 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 Oh, Adam. I'm oh, yeah. sorry, Adam. Yes, I'm in Adam. Look, are you drinking? No. Isn't it like 2 o'clock in the morning there, dude? You, you got a problem. 3 in the afternoon. Okay. Oh, it's 3. So, actual, yeah. Actual, that, you got a problem, man. Question, actual serious question, though. Who has been the most influential to you since you have come to OCW? Uh, Other seven, than me. Seven Dennis. Seven Dennis. I'm guessing for two different purposes. Yeah. What is what is the What has Seb done for you that has been beneficial? Uh, Seb uh, uh, teaching me to, to write better, to get my grammar in. And stuff in tow, and uh, Dennis, with all the DMs I've been facing with him, has made me a better, a better player. Well, since we lost the conversation before, how close are you to Seb? Uh, he's like an hour and a half away from me, or something. So he's like oh, in shit, fucking that's distance, it? right? That's like I'm surprised I haven't actually played in person yet. Then yeah, he's like a kangaroo no. hop away. <laughs> I, I, we, we should definitely get to do that. I, I. I would love to play Seb without any lag. So you want to sit video. on a couch with Seb and play? Why not? Well, Be fun. That seems sketchy. Yeah, yeah but... <laughs> The only thing sketchy here is Dennis. Are you aware of what makes Seb sketchy? Are you aware of the I, I feel like that's hard to say that out of everybody here, Dennis is the only sketchy one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ricky. Yes. What do you think of B seventeen? Like the name, uh, it's fucking stupid, right? The name. Oh yeah. What? Once I saw that name, I was like, "What the fuck is this guy?" You motherfucker. Ricky. Ricky. <laughs> so, what did you like for as that? What does your name mean? Uh, Ragnarov. Yeah, like, what uh, the fuck is like, that? Sounds like a go well, into detail. When when I first came here, uh, someone was talking to me about my name, and I and um, 
since I wanted to be a dragon, they said I should have a name like Ragnarok. So that's why I have it because I made my Who character. Who was that so we can dragon. kick him in the head? <laughs> uh, let me check my Discord messages. Better yet, does does Mexico have mythology on dragons? I wasn't aware of that. I'm not Mexican. I'm Australian. Does okay? Does Australia have dragons? Isn't that when they do yeah. the Hobbit? Yes, I feel like yeah, they no, filmed they the Hobbit New there. Zealand. New that's New Zealand. No, that's New Zealand. It's the same no. thing, but not really. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, so Australia has legends on dragons? Sure. No, they don't. They do. They don't. I. The audience chat is saying no, so no. I forgot we had phone a friend. I feel bad for her. I do too. I don't. It was Dr. Disco, whoever that is. That's Bray! How God do you damn think it. You... All these Bray ideas. All <laughs> these Bray. So oh, now we, we gotta go back to the other Bray idea. Bray is Why did you let him help you if you're a character? Ricky? Ricky? Well, sorry, sorry, I didn't hear the question. Why did you let him help you? Uh, because I'm new to this whole core fed thing, so I thought it'd be best to let someone help me. But so, why him? Because like, he was why? the first one. Because he was the first one to offer help. So okay, I'll help you. Of all the people, so of all the ideas, have any of them been your own, or is this like are you just creating? Uh, no, by no. Brand? But the, the 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 character that I write is all my idea. It's just the name and the and the stuff. What's the idea behind it? Okay, so my idea was was that he came from a wrestling family, where a his... family of dragons. No, he's <laughs> not a real dragon. Okay, that makes more sense. Is he though. related he's... to the American dragon? No, his father was an Australian wrestler named the Dragon, so he took that name, and and wanted to for his family legacy to be to be better because his father died young. In a wrestling accident, so that would be that was the idea behind. behind so you, going you mean to tell me are, like the unsafe accident. started in the family? <laughs> yes, yes, it did. Let's talk about your work rate at this moment. You do realize that you're following a very similar trajectory to Mr. Dennis Black over here, who, when he first joined, was botch, 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 kick. Botch. Well, hold on. What's hold on? What's the famous Dennis bo- uh, Black botch? The most famous? The King of OCW. Yeah. It's got to be the Parker one, right? Yeah, King of OCW. I'd never fucking forget it. I was thinking the cum comment on Discord was the right. biggest N- No, I didn't give wise. a breakdown of that one. Give a breakdown of that one. So, you know, I made it further in the King of OCW, you know, Riot tournament than I thought that I would. And I somehow made it to the semifinals against Hall of Famer Parker. I was already anxious. Stressed out. I think I watched his last four matches to try and prep for him. And I thought I was doing well, but not really. So I'm going for a springboard. I usually catch everybody with this springboard kick. Yeah, not all, he, all he does is take like three steps backwards. I land on my foot. I almost rolled my ankle or something because I'm just standing there dazed. Then he hits me with the stunner and pins me. That's how the match ends, with me missing a springboard and catching a stunner. And it's a gif. Right now. I don't see Very that famous gif. one. It's terrible. If you yeah. haven't played Parker, it's a different style than what you see now. Mm-hmm. Speaking of style, Ricky, what is your style? Did you intend to be this when you joined? Uh, Unsafe. Yeah. I, I, was, I was looking for... A... A high risk, high reward kind of uh, move set. So, yep, definitely what I was, I was planning to be. I d- I didn't think I'd be as unsafe as I am, but yeah, definitely the way I wanted to play. Do you think that this is sustainable for your career? This, this high risk, high reward. A lot of cases, it's it's high damage to you. Yeah. By the way, if Ricky, if you can't tell, answer it like as Ricky. Beast not helping you. Yes. Um. Yeah. I'll probably I'll continue for the rest of my career like this. I'm. Um, unlike Dennis, I'm not afraid to. 
to take risks. Oh. Oh, ouch. I will say that I felt the same way, but when I started moving up in the card, people approached me and said, you need to slow down and these magic needs to look better. Who approached you? There was no one like spiteful. Um, well, trying to help. Spiteful. Like, you know, Nate Nate sat me down for a bit. Um, so kind of like the last one. Yeah, Has, before we spoke anybody, over, before we fought. Anybody tried to help Ricky yet? Or has Ricky anybody reached out to you? Uh, no. Not yet, but I'm still just a rookie, so I assume yeah. that's why. I think as he moves up in the card, he'll definitely get a talk that he needs to... Just have know, to talk now, man. Talk to him. Help him. Yeah, have what to talk. He, does, he, does, he doesn't need it now. He does. Um, he does. I feel like he hurts himself a lot. Like, I think yesterday I pinned you off of you hurting yourself. <laughs> like, you, you jumped <laughs> so high and so far... <laughs> I, I know it was a glitch. It was I think it was a glitch, but like you landed on your head, and you got the knockout animation that you were with a finisher. And I just rolled over and I pinned you. Like, did you did it miss the one count for you too? Yeah, it did. Yeah. So yeah, it, so it, it counted, acted like, like you, I hit, hit the finish out. Yeah, dude, you hurt yourself so bad that it gave you finisher damage on a fall. I think that's the game telling you, Ricky, needs to be a change, buddy. <laughs> But but it's only because y- you moved out of the way of my finisher, so there's not much I could have done. But like I've I've avoided that finisher a few times, and it didn't kill you like that. Like yeah, you, I don't know what happened. That was bad. Like you, you died, and so I think if you are serious about going for TV at some point this season, you're gonna have to. I'm not saying you don't have to water down your style, but you're going to have to change what just the a little finisher? bit. What finisher did you walk out of the way of? Was it a 630? A 450? Uh, 450. 450. 450. 650. Yeah. And you're just able to walk <laughs> from it? <laughs> 630. Do you think you Look. can switch from that and see if it helps, or no? Yeah, I'd have to look over the move. move list the thing again. is, though, well, I don't think he needs to like, change it. Like, that move fits him. He just, he's, I feel like he's going to graduate soon. So when you graduate, you get a front finisher. But keep the six, the, the 450. I, oh, I, I, already, I already know what I'm getting as my second finisher once I graduate. Yeah. What do you what get? What is it? Uh, twist the fight. Shit, that is shit. That's a Hall of Fame move. Don't Complete get that. That's shit. stupid. That is yeah. shit. shit. I'm, but I'm going to get the new one so it doesn't count. No, more shit. That is just absolute horseshit, Ricky. You don't get a twist of fate. I say go with the uh, angle slam. Shit. Horseshit. Horse <laughs> the angle slam. Just let me share. I, my, woman, my woman had the angle slam, and I had to get that rid of her. Ricky, I'm yeah, going to point this out to you. That, that twist of fate will have a major right smack in the middle, easy to hit. I'm going to punch you in the stomach every goddamn time you go. <laughs> Yeah, don't uh, don't get to well, no. well, not even that. Like, do y'all pay attention to that shit for when you pick one, or no? Well, I have two a, competitive people. I'll, I'll go first on this one. I have I have my running move, the move that I feel is most identifiable with B seventeen, and that's the uh, that's the bingo punch. But then I also have the tombstone pile driver, and that has a mid move reversal, which people have hit on me. But I also know not to go for it in a match unless somebody has has burned those reversals, so I actually have the opportunity to hit, it, or unless I'm uh, unless I'm ahead enough comfortably where I feel like a, a mid reversal is not going to stop me. So I, I I pick moves. I actually have plenty of moves with mid move reversals. All my strong grapples do, but I use them when I know that they that I can't get screwed over. So I mean, yes, I have them. By the way, that punch, you mean the one you said I can't use anymore because you're kind of an asshole? You can still use it. Love. Okay. All the love. You can use it. All right. Dennis. Dennis. I had been waiting on the re-trigger for like two years, and it wouldn't have stopped me from getting it if I had a major. Like, as as Adam said, you just got to know when to get rid of it. I mean, I had the GCS for a while, and that had a major. Easily adjustable major. Yeah, but as I went up in the card and started facing bigger guys, I couldn't use it. Like, hitting a GTS on Ed, it doesn't make any sense. Because I'm, I'm fucking tiny. 
So at least with the you know the V trigger, it's me from behind. I'm not picking you up. I'm just turning you around, hitting you with the knee. Pause. See, I'm in the same part with trying to use the Stino. Y'all are all short as shit. I can't hit it. Yeah. Does you gotta... Stino have a major in it? It doesn't so. have a major, but it's just I'm too big. Yeah, like Austin like breaks his knee when he has to like go under. Like we can't support Austin's weight with that fucking move. No, 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 no. And Ricky definitely but can't either. Which um, what was the animation you'd prefer for the V trigger, Dennis? The ripcord or the other one? The no, no, no. With like, if you had a picture of one, make up your own. No, the one that's in the game now. Like they added the third one, which is the Kenny Omega one. It's perfect. I did it to you the other day. No, no, I get that. I was saying if you had to design your own, because he doesn't hit it always at a ripcord. Oh, um, I really like the one when the person is on the middle rope and they're like leaning forward, and he hits them from behind. I like that one the most. You would take that as a major, like that is your finisher, like how Cass has the uh, flipping fucking cutter shit. Yeah, because I still have the running knee. But my favorite yeah. one is like when they're like laying down and don't see it coming. Mm. Ricky, I have another question for you. You've been playing a lot against Dennis Black. Would you say that Dennis Black has helped you improve or that he is holding you down? <laughs> definitely not holding me down. No, he's definitely helped me improve. I'm yeah. definitely a hold better on, on. player. Ricky, Ricky, you're supposed to shit on Dennis. Try that again. I, I, I would never do such a thing. Are you afraid that if you shit on Dennis, he might murder you? No. Can you beat no, I'm Dennis not... Black? I've beaten him before. Is Could you do it in an actual broadcast match? No, I, I doubt very much that I could beat him if we went on to Tomoe or Riot and had a match. God damn Wrong it. answer, Ricky. God damn it. Wrong answer. God, God damn hold it. Hold on, hold on. Now, Ricky, what about if you just go get a chair, like at the start of the match, mm -hmm. and then hit him over the head with it? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Probably. I'd probably have to knock him out cold. And even like, then especially if you're on out. Riot, like, just instead of doing it on Riot, you just, like, oh, I'm not going to fight you, I'm just going to hit yeah, you with a chair. Can, the chairs yeah. are thicker on Riot. You might not know this, but they're thicker. Thicker on Riot. Thicker. Yeah, thicker. They, they send you on vacation almost. They hit you that hard. <laughs> Ricky, here's some advice. You need to believe that you can beat anyone, no matter I, who it is. Not me. Because if you, not, cause not, if you not, believe... Not not Austin. But if you believe that, oh, I'm going to lose this match before you do it, there's no point in you being in that match. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anybody's beatable. It, it, be, it can be a major or a chance reversal. Anything can happen. I think this is a good transition into, Ricky, since it is a brand new year dawning upon us in OCW lore, which is, if you could, in this next year, give us three goals, three objectives that you would like to achieve... What would they be? Okay, so I'd like to go for the TV tag or or lightweight title. Who would hold the TV title for you to fight? Um, that's a good question. I don't know. Seb, maybe. Not yeah, Seb, because I'm tag with Corey. So you want to yep. fight him like right away? Or you think? Yeah, yeah. I. No, no. Nah, nah, I think you'll hold it for a little while. Before he gets to me. Um, really? Starting out yeah. to like you, but next question. Well, I'd like to point Why? out that there's an issue with what he just said. He said two belts that are on Riot. Ricky, I feel that you might be holding a secret back from us. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm just, we lost I'm the just part with the Xbox I, conversation. I, I just saying I have the Xbox, so I could do Riot on the Xbox. Are you saying that you could go over there and beat Dupree? The Hall of Famer? He is Not old. only would I beat him, I'd destroy him. Mmm. Fucking look. That right there, Ricky. That is the attitude. You can beat anyone. Love it. I love it too. Uh Do you my have the game second. Part? No, I'm getting it uh in a couple of weeks. Uh, I'll send it to you. If you think you can do that to him, yes. I'll send it. Set up a goal Breaking news. Break Breaking news, Ricky is coming to Xbox. Um, That's goal one. Goal two, what do you got? Uh, goal two. Hold on. Be... Do you think Dennis is trying to send you to Xbox because he's afraid? That is I a think good he question. is. That is a good I question. think he's very afraid. 
You know, that could beat him. So he's trying to get me off turmoil. So you're I'm saying... not trying to get you off anyway, Ricky. Uh... <laughs> Pause. So you're saying you could beat Dennis Black for the turmoil championship? I believe, given the chance, I could, yeah. Just not too long ago, you said you could not beat him. Which one is it? I lied. I wanted to make Dennis full. Ah, so, yeah. Yes, yes. I see a challenger. So my second would be to have a rivalry with a with a top with a top R person. Who Doesn't have to be a champion. Who would be a Since top this person? went over so well last time, what's mm-hmm. the people? Mm-hmm. Just Dennis, remember. Seth, not Adam. No. <laughs> <laughs> he just you're, you're, you're still forgetting somebody. <laughs> a pad. The silent audience that will hurt you. Let's phone a friend. I would, I would, I would like to have one with Pam, especially my uh, my female character. I think we could have a good uh, rivalry. Um, hmm. and my third would be to win Rookie of the Year. It's done. It's done to be to win Rookie of the Year, I should say. Okay. So someone needs to ask a question. That hold I on, hold on. Right now. What do you need to do to win that? Uh, I need to get better at my riding. Riding. I need to. Yeah, my riding. What do you think helps win that? Just the riding, or what? No, no, no. I think I have to get my uh, my riding better. I have to get in some good rivalries with some fellow rookies. Anyway, Ricky, I believe. But you can achieve all of your goals, other than beating me. That's never going to happen. But he I believe that you. you can be he already beat you at a house show. That was like a Make a Wish thing. And I did beat you in that triple threat. I just didn't pin you. <sighs> that counts. I mean, don't please don't. I hear Big Ed running to defend him. That counts. <laughs> it wasn't on TV. Where was it? It was a house show. It counts. I live at house shows a lot. I have a very Sometimes, poor man. house show record. I mean, I, be, I beat him at a house show. Still counts. I don't, I don't think we have faced each other, Seth. I need to face you one day. In the DM, you, I mean. Can you beat Lee on TV? Probably. Who can't beat Lee on TV? That that hurts, guys. All right. I get close, at least. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Hmm. Speaking of that, um, Adam, what was it? Three and zero. I was three and zero against you tonight. But speaking of close, I don't recall. Uh huh. <laughs> I can hear the disappointment in the bottle echoing. <laughs> That's not a bottle at all. Anyways. All right, Ricky. Why do you not want a feud of Adam so he stops crying to me about it every time? Why do I not want to feud with him? Uh, because he has the worst name I've ever seen in a league or in a fed, whatever you want to call this. B17, worst name ever. Ever. It really is. So what, is, what does B17 mean? What does the B stand for? Bitch. Burial. Bitch. Bitch. What does it stand for? Hold on, hold on, Rick, hold on, stop, 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 Ricky, what do you think it means? Burial. He gets buried Dennis, a lot. Dennis, what do you think it means? Uh, bleh. I, I said bitch, so, alright, what does it mean? Isn't like a B-17 like a plane or a missile, though? I thought it was supposed to be after some, you told me like last year or something else. It was. Like a tank? Oh, wait, 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 wait. alright, I mean, the, the initial meaning of of B-17 is in reference to the bombers from that were utilized in World War II. Ooh, okay, this is, let's just skip all this. This is... Alright, never mind. Cut Oof. that. Just just let's cut just all cut of that. that whole thing. Oh, God. I got tired. Ricky, say something so we can just act like it happened. What? That's what good are enough. What we acting on? Okay. That's good enough. We just have to fill him trying Ricky, to talk. I think this is the time of the show where we need to open it up to you and say, are there any questions you would like to pose to us? Uh, yes. What are the biggest uh, mistakes outside of breaking FPR that a rookie can make? Not writing. Not writing. Not writing. God damn it. Yeah, I mean, I, just, I feel like a lot of these rookies don't write enough. Mm-hmm. 
If you don't um, write, your character never gets exposed, and we never. Not asking game. questions. Mm -hmm. Writing is a great way to get exposed. Not asking questions, like try and ask somebody for help. Exposed writing, yes. I would say the biggest mistake that you can make as a rookie is don't expect too much too soon. You'll get there when you get there. Trying to push it too too trying to push it is a a mistake. Take what you get. What else you got, Ricky? Uh, who who's the rookie that you foresee doing big things in OCW and then next couple of seasons? Well, specify big things. Uh, winning titles. Having the having rivalries, that kind of thing. Um, I don't think anybody's going to take a belt off somebody this year. There are n no new people. Honestly, Ricky, you're doing everything the right way. That's you know, we, that's why we have you on here. You wanted to be on here, but you know, you're doing things the right way. Do I think you'll win a title this year? No, no chance. None. Jesus Christ, no chance. And if you do get the title, I will personally abandon any hopes of the. <laughs> of the card up top and come down and take the title from you. Gee, wow. <laughs> okay, so as as nice far as like people. rookies that can do something, I think Cheryl and Flojo, if done right, can have a great feud. Who's, that'll who's last Shojo? Time. Who's Show? Flojo. No, you said Show. Did I? He said I said Flojo. Cheryl and Flojo. Who the fuck Cheryl? Cheryl Sticks? Oh, God, no. Anyway, I think you've done right. Cheryl and Flojo can have a great feud that'll last for years because they kind of remind me of Madison and Sophia when they started. Is that because neither of them can win a match and it'll just last that long? No, I mean, because you have one that's, you know, like, prissy and using her looks, and you have the other that wants to be a wrestler. Which one's which? I would say that Cheryl's more like Madison, and Flojo's more like Sophia. No. When they started. Who's this random person? This is Ricky again? She wants yes, that's Ricky. Though. Who's this? Hello. It's Bob the Builder. Damn. Shots fired. Anyways, Ricky, do you have any more questions you'd like to pose to us? Uh, um, what has been your favorite season? You mean game? No, sorry, sorry, gay. What's your favorite game? Yes. You said gay. Game. G-A-M-E. I'm pausing. I can see that now, but you didn't say that before, Ricky. You... I'm pretty sure I did. You said favorite gay. Well, I have to say my favorite gay would have to be Ricky Martin. Ricky Martin's not, not gay. gay. He's not? No. Uh -huh. She can bomb on. Hold on. Hold on. Adam, how do you minutes. say your last name before I answer mine? Real last name? Yeah, yeah. How do you say that so I can make sure? I... Yeah, that one. It's like, he's man. Ing. It's Helmsing. Yeah, that one. That's my favorite gay. Is that German? It's, uh, it's Dutch. It sounds German. I'm going to go with German. I, I mean, sure. Ricky just left again. I'm, I'm not touching shit. I ain't touching shit. Let's just keep yeah. talking about him. You know what, Lee? You're going to answer for Ricky. I hope I can do this. <clears throat> Ricky, do you feel that any of your goals are achievable this season? Um, I feel like I could be wait, wait, Adam, wait, wait, so wait, yes. No, you, you have to mimic his voice. I'm got not enough alcohol left. Okay, Adam, can you mimic Ricky's voice? I'm not getting kicked out of OCW again. All right, Adam, just I mean Lee, just do hold on. Hold on. How, how can we specify this again? Thing. <laughs> did, did you just fall? <laughs> No, <laughs> I knocked over my stack of Pepsi cans. What is stack? <laughs> what is there a stack? There's not a stack. There's three of them. 
That's a snack. That sounds like a lot more than three. It sounds Why? like literally Austin Lee had collapsed. And... <laughs> it sounds like you, it's like you were running. And I haven't even finished the first can yet. Why do you have? Why are you stacking cans? Because I'm too like lazy somebody, to put them in the bin. Is it because somebody so, didn't record something, so we're still going? You just like tripped two over hours a later. lot of stuff. Lee, I'm having a lot of fun. Please stop. True. Please stop. I'm having fun. I'm sorry. I miss you. I miss you too. All right, Dennis, you were going to Aww. ask me, Ricky, a question. Well, he's back now. I don't need you anymore. Oh. All right. Here. Hold on. Hold on. Everybody do their best Ricky impression. Sorry, Ricky. No, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. No, shut up, shut up. No one cares. Ricky, do you feel that any of your goals are achievable this year? I think winning Rookie of the Year and having a rivalry with with an upper person are very, very attainable. I don't know if I could win a, a title this year. Different. Who would be the upper person if you had to pick? What is your dream match this season? If you could have uh, as, as I said uh, earlier, at the start of the season, me and Dennis could have a really oh, good rivalry, Dennis, I believe. But if not if not with Dennis, then I'd, I'd like to do one with Nightmare and, and, and uh, Sophia. I what think they could have a good one. Explain this obsession with fucking Dennis Black. All right, I hold want on, to fucking on. know this obsession. No. You explain no yours obsession. first. Hold on. Stop. Pause. You explain yours. Explain what? Adam. What? You explain your obsession. Oh, he's by far... He... he Dennis Black is... Ying to your yang. Dennis Black completes me. Mm-hmm. We're Pause. like Batman a Superman. Pause. Pause. There would be no... Dennis Black without Loki, who is an extension of me, who is an extension I've, I've of I assumed you would have gone with Cantor without the Black uh, Plague. The, what? I would not cancer. be B-17. I would never have been Cancer without Dennis Black. Dennis Black is my is my is, is my soul animal. He really is. Do you mean spirit, you mean spirit animal? Adam? <laughs> I butchered that. I don't know. Spirit? Soul animal? Soul. He's my soul. just said you weren't drinking. That no. Pause. All right, back to Ricky. Mm -hmm. So what was the question? Why why am I obsessed with Dennis? I'm not obsessed with Dennis. I'm obsessed with beating him. That would mean you're obsessed with Dennis. I don't know why you want to beat Dennis so badly. It, it's, I mean, he's 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 a small fish in a big pond. Bill, Plus, Ding kind of already beat him. Yeah, Bill Ding is a much bigger fish to fry. If anything, you should be trying to beat Ding. Yeah, absolutely. I agree. We should set up a match between you and Bill Ding for, I don't know, next month. Bill Ding's busy. Do you, do you even watch the site? No, not really. Okay, yeah, I'll be up for that. Because you With said the you're the number one rookie. Number I one. I am the number one rookie. You're right. No one above me. Tell him, Ricky. Tell him. There's no one above me. I didn't mean for you to say it again. I just... <laughs> well, you said tell them. I was just... So I, did. I was... I was agreeing with you. Okay. But, I know. Um... Okay, okay, okay. I feel like... I feel like there's one more question that Ricky must ask before we complete this program. Last Is question. That? Because we didn't even answer the last question. Hold on, hold on. We have Ricky. Make sure you ask him if he hit record. Have you hit record? I did. I did. Okay, good. Don't want to have to go be here for another hour. Um, Is there a problem with being here for another hour? Is there oh, yeah. That, that's kind of offensive, man. Upon, yeah, I'm very offended, Ricky. What's, what's the problem? Yes, I have a problem with being here for a third hour. Uh, well, just, just Adam, right? Not us. Hmm? Yeah, yeah, just Adam. If, oh. if it wasn't, if Adam wasn't here, it'd be fine. Okay, oh. goodbye. Um, oh, uh, what what was your favorite match as a as a, a rookie? My favorite match as a rookie came against the Jacob Trance before he became Fat Jacob Trance. 
I had a good match against him, Dark Horse Candidate, for match of the year. Um, I mean, for the time. It was like six months into my into my time here. It was a good match. It wasn't spectacular by any means. But, you know, it was the best I could muster at that time. He caught me with um, a cold breaker because at that time I had the frog splash as a finisher, and he caught me. And I was so excited by it. I thought it was such a great way to end it that I kept the controller down. He pinned me one, two, three. So are you saying that you don't have many good matches? I am saying that I have not had many great matches. Why is that? I do not feel that I have had many great matches because the positions I have been put in don't necessarily lead <laughs> to great matches. That's fair. I would say that I've had good matchups, but I have my great matches have come from great buildups. And in that case, I can say that I've had three great matches, but I've also had three feuds. I've never had a great match without a great buildup. I've had very few. And I would say that sometimes my play style doesn't always lead two great matches. Dennis Black, thank you. I didn't have any preparation to answer that question. Now I sound like a douche. Well, you know, let's, I bring out the best people. So. Dennis Black, could you please tell me that what was your standout match? As a rookie? Or in general? General. I got two. Three. Three. Please, don't put yourself over any more than you need. <laughs> I was thinking of, like, matches that were, like, turning point matches for me. Do your biggest um, loss, then. Yeah. Well, that's one of my biggest matches. Like, I, I feel like building was good. It was one of my best matches. I think it was good for Turmoil. That there is a light at the end of the the tunnel for for people. Like, it, I feel like it gave hope. When, when Ding beat Dennis, yeah, I didn't like it. A lot of other people did. I think Jay even did commentary for the match. So I feel like that was one of my best, even though I lost. I didn't put the controller down. I even broke FPR. I hit an early finisher, and I still lost. That's how you know that I had no chance of winning, because, you know, the handler, Ding, was just having a really good day. Des Black, do you feel that the best matchup that could be presented for OCW as a whole would be Bill Ding versus Dennis Black. And, uh, and Ricky. Bill Ding versus Dennis versus Ricky. I think in like two two more seasons when the handler of Ding is ready for a pay-per-view match with Dennis Black, I feel, you, like, I feel yes. like somebody is yelling somewhere. The handler is not yet ready for the spotlight? Not, not pay-per-view, Dennis. Not no. pay-per-view, Dennis, no. Okay. There's where, like, do you, where do you think this handler that shall not be named would be best suited on the card right now? They are definitely main event tier when Dennis isn't in the building. So, like, if Dennis isn't booked, you should probably book this person in the main event. Dennis, I well, have here. an argument to make. Hold on. Stop. Hold on. God, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you saw it coming. What, do the tier then, Dennis, for turmoil. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> what do you mean, do what tier? Do the grades. Everybody. Rank Every them. everybody on Rank the roster? Them. Everybody on turmoil. Non rookies. <clears throat> no alts. No alts. Um I'll start at A. I think Dennis Sting B seventeen. Oh you, you don't, Yes you don't, you don't believe it, but I, I do feel that you are A as well because when you want it you know you can take it like if you're focused and not fucking around you can you can you can take some skulls i put austin there as well and i'd only say that because of when i when i dm i don't i don't hold back and austin really uh kicked my ass the other day and i and i do think matchups you know make for good matches like styles make for good matches and I think if Lee did what he did in that DM in a real match with me, he could maybe win. Because he, he played me the correct way. 
Um, I think I think Bray was there at the start of the season as well. He doesn't count. Skip it. Is this, are you still right, but I just feel like he. Level? Yeah. Okay. Um. Bray's good on the sticks. He he's just had some some issues. No. 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 He's, he's good. Like people don't like the way he plays sometimes, but like mechanically, like he knows what he's doing. Like he's not bad. I thought this tier list would be a a combination of not only skills but character as well. It is, but I feel like Bray's skills make up for what he was lacking in character. All right, like, after Bray, so we can keep going. That's the last A, I think. All right, Kent, there's more people. The Bs would be Archer, Shep, Seb. Um, is Archer because of the new play style? Yes, and the handler's good at the game. Like, when he's motivated... Yeah, he's, I if he's motivated, yes. When he's motivated, he can be an A. You know? Um, give me some names. I'm drawing a blank. Rex. Rex, is, Rex should be A. But you're do the TV like title list. Just do whose TV title. Okay, Seb, Shep, Rex. Um, drawing a blank. Who do we have on the show? Ricky. Where's Ricky in all this? Yeah, where am I? Low B, high C. Why is that? I feel like if Ricky didn't do the whole crash and burn thing and actually came in with a game plan, he would get some upsets. But, but I feel like would that take away from him standing out? It would, and that's the hard part. I When I moved up, I had to stop killing myself. Because, like, every little, every missed springboard, every missed dive, it adds up. I've turned red off of missed dives. It, it does make a difference. Let's end on this, then. What would you do to help him change to get over that, to get to B level or A? I would help him tweak his moveset. Because I tweaked Seb's moveset, and I think he's been better ever since. Um, I would trick his moveset, and I would try to help him do his matches at a slower pace and know when to speed things up. Tweak how so? Um, like, there are some things that Ricky does that, like, drives me crazy, but it's not illegal. So, like, when I, when I reverse something of Ricky, he immediately goes for the next move. It's not a break. But it's kind of, it's kind of annoying. I don't know if he does it on purpose or not, but you know, it's a well, thing. Well, not even that. Like, what if he does like move set wise? You said you tweak. That's his play style. All right, move set. I think you you have all. I think like all of your dives when you miss, they have you landing on your head, and that's fine. But I feel like you need some dives where if you miss, you're not taking all that damage. Like I have some springboards where I land on my feet. Try to minimize killing yourself. Like, if you're a high flyer, you have to take those risks. I have some dives where I take damage if I miss, but, like, not all of them. I feel like everything you do results in you getting hurt, whether you hit it or not. I think that hurts you. Adam? Same question. Sure. What would you do to help young Ricky? Well, I do agree that he is missing a lot of dives, and he's hurting himself a lot, and that... um, when you get to the when you get to the higher levels of the people on the sticks, you can't be spotting them any extra damage. And if you do, you're going to find yourself behind. And I think Dennis learned that lesson at some point within his first or second year. So when Dennis stopped doing all those flips, he became almost impossible to beat because he wasn't wasting damage. So that's uh, that's something I absolutely agree with. You talking just uh, help on the sticks? Um, more so like encouragement things for him since he is here. Well, like, what can he take away from this? Well, like I said earlier, Ricky's doing a lot of things right. Otherwise, he wouldn't be here. And uh, I'm I'm sure he's 
gone through quite a lot of ball busting today, but uh, we all do that. I, the best encouragement I can give you is that when it comes time, when it comes time to do a match, um, there's a line, and uh, you need to you need to stay away from the thirsty side as much as possible, and you need to just accept that. You need to have a good match and be competitive all at once, but there is a, a limit to where you go with that. And some some people have crossed that line multiple times, and you know they're 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 hurting for it. So don't be one of those people. Try to uh, try to make sure that you uh, always keep sight of what OCW is. An OCW is a fair play. That's all I got. All right, well, Ricky, now this will be your platform to rant, rave, do whatever. It'll be the Grand Puma of the Death, the shit show. So end it, whatever you want to say, to finish us out. And that's the end of this all. Uh, I'm not going to shit on anyone. I just want to say thank you, guys. It's you guys, you vets that help me out and help all the rookies out, make us better, and in turn we become better players for future seasons and future rookies. So thank you. Shit on, shit on Adam to end it, man. Come on. Adam, you're an asshole for not recording it properly earlier. Thank you. Good night.